everyone, this is Emily with Snake Discovery, and today we'll be talking about the African egg-eating snake. The African egg-eating snake is a very unique type of snake in that it has no teeth at all. They could gum you, but that's about it. Instead of, a, instead of teeth, they have bony projections near the back of their throat, which stick out from their back vertebrae, and that helps them eat because when they swallow the bird's egg in one big bite, of course, they push it to where those back vertebrae are, which is about right here and they use those vertebrae to or those spikes to crack the shell and then they drink the juices inside they're very efficient at getting every last drop out after which they crunch up the shell and spit it back out so they turn quail eggs from whole to crunched up and then they just spit it right back out Egg-eating snakes are such specialized eaters that with just a flick of their tongue, they can determine if the bird's egg is fresh enough for them to still eat. Because if the egg is rotten or too far developed to make it uncomfortable to swallow, they will leave those behind and just eat the freshest eggs in the nest. Now these live in the same range as the saw-scaled viper in Africa, which will rub its scales together to intimidate whatever is threatening it. So of course the egg-eating snake does the same thing. They rub their very rough, can you see how they're keeled, rough-looking scales? There you go. They rub, rub those together to sound like the saw-scaled viper, but in all reality, they have no teeth, they can't do anything. So their only defense mechanism is to pretend to be something scarier than they actually are. Captive care of the egg-eating snake is relatively simple. Just compare it to your normal colubrid. Provide uh, decent bedding. Humidity isn't too much of an issue since they live in a dry climate anyway. Need the right temperatures, of course, a warm end and a cool end with a hide on each. Feeding is as easy as scattering eggs around their enclosure so they can forage for them and they'll eat in the middle of the night and turn them into crunched up shells and that's pretty much the best way to monitor their eating is just to look for those shells. The only problem that people come across with keeping these specimens is that they can be finicky eaters so if you have a new snake you may have a tough time getting them to start eating eggs so you may have to offer different types of eggs like finch eggs, parakeet eggs, whatever you can get your hands on and just hope for the best. But they are definitely worth the challenge because they are amazing snakes to keep.